Welcome back everyone. This time my trip will be in the Galapagos Islands and I'm really excited to show you this beautiful islands located uh, west of Ecuador. So um, they're also into conservation so they're about preserving and recycling. I say almost everything. The Galapagos Islands are known for their uh, huge uh, endemic species that were studied by Charles Darwin during the second voyage uh, called the Beagle and his observations and collections were uh, written um, and it's called the inception or the start of the Darwin's theory of evolution by means of natural selection. So in total the islands have a population of about over 25,000. The first recorded visit was back in 1535 by Fray Thomas de Berlanga, the Bishop of Panama, was surprised to find this undiscovered land during his voyage to Peru. So Galapagos constitutes one of the provinces of Ecuador and the major ones are San Cristobal, Santa, Santa Cruz and Isabella. But the islands consist of 18 main islands, three smaller islands and 107 rocks and islets. My visit to the Galapagos took me to Baltra, San Cristobal, North and South Seymour, Santa Cruz, Mosquera Islet, South Plaza um, Islet, Santa Fe, Lobos Islands, and San Cristobal. There are two different uh, types of excursion, of course, sea or land excursion. I flew in from Quito uh, to Guayaquil. I didn't leave the plane at Guayaquil because this was the same plane and then went to Baltimore. If you're going somewhere besides Galapagos and you have a big luggage you can drop it off here at the bag parking in front of the terminal at Quito, Ecuador. Heading to Galapagos yeah. <laughs> after I dropped off my luggage. At the Quito airport they'll scan your bag to make sure that there is no live um, plants or anything that is uh, fruits or vegetables that you're carrying in your bag. Uh, they don't want those in their islands. And you check in here at the Avianca. So to check in, you need your tourist card to Galapagos, your passport and your vaccination card. And then went to Baltra Airport and then as when you go in, they're very strict about bringing in any plants or any live animals uh, to the island. Uh, you will be fine if you do so. And then you arrive there, you pay a uh, hundred dollars uh, right at the entrance at the airport and you arrive in Baltra so you take the bus first and then they'll there's a boat to go to the ship itself and and I took coral the second so if you have seasickness this might not be a good idea for you uh, I bring drama with you drama mean with you and Zofran for anti-nausea, you'll definitely need them. Even though you don't have any problems with seasickness, some people got sick because it can be really uh, wavy at times. So stay tuned, our trip will begin. Um, I booked my short trip with Go Galapagos uh, Company. This is the website that I will actually include down below the vlog on the description and I highly recommend them. They are a professional organization and the food they serve was just awesome. Barbecue night! stop will be at North Seymour or well, Baltra Airport first and then North Seymour. This area landscape. Rosemary and Peter Grant. So they were from England. They started going to that island in the 1970s, 1972. They thought they were going to do a research for a couple years and they end up doing research there for 40 years. Mm -hmm. wow. They started right there, the Darwin Finches. And after that couple, there is a book called The Big 
of the finch. By the way, can you see the white circle around? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, as I told you, they gotta be there for these 42 days, plus a couple more weeks until the last one hatches. So that's why what they do is like one stays, and what they do is to face against the sun. Because that's how they can, as you can see, keep the eggs cool. Or if it's cold, what they will do is to cover with their big feet. They cover the three eggs in order to keep them warm. That's why, and no wonder why the females always look for the males with the big feet. <laughs> that's why if we, if we see them making the dance, you will see the males doing like this, trying to show sure. their feet to the males. Made a bad landing job getting the water diving. Hey, Iguana. Hey, Iguana. See the blue feet real good on that one standing up over there. King of the road. Over there, there's two one over there. That's Lucas, look. The little one. Oh, there's another guano over there. It's there nice. Mm -hmm. Trying to see what's gonna be the adaptation. Um, he was a young uh, male. So in red tails, normally young males can look like can look like as females in order to be in order not to be attacked by a big male. He's saying <laughs> my eyes are up here. You wanna smile? <laughs> smile. By the way, this is a, is a male. Thanks everyone, I'll see you guys in the next island which will be in Santa Cruz Island.